Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. For today, we are looking at the Key Rocks. I'm going to give this one a 4.6 out of 5. This is a free keys plugin. And as you can see, we have a few different categories. Accordions, electric pianos, organs, and pianos. But some combinations of pianos and different types. So let's get right into it. Right? I will see right away, you can hear some little crackling. This is where I might kind of turn this down. Uh, well, I can see like the macro. Right? A few different types. Which is kind of nice, because some of these, I'm not gonna lie, sound a bit better than others. That's kind of the nature of a plugin like this, similar to like a Rompler style plugin, right? Go to the next one. I feel like with an accordion, it sounds more authentic with chords than single notes, at least to me, right? You hear like a little clipping on this one? Right, some crackling. That's one thing about um, this plugin. I'm gonna have to do that. Or I could do some of them's definitely. Does anyone ever use EQ3, by the way? I feel like that's such like a. I don't know. I might like just high cut some of this. And then hopefully in the mix doesn't sound too bad, right? I think that's how I'd process it, you know. Um, let's go to the electric pianos. Yeah, it sounds more like a clav, if anything. And some of these sound a bit like combinations. Like, this sounds, to me, like a duality or dual piano and electric piano at the same time. And I like the texture of some of these where if Lex are going for a very specific feel, like Lex, if you're doing, you know, more of like a jazzy or funky track, some of the electric pianos might be a better overall texture and timber compared to, like, say, something like this. Might be good for like a new age track, right? I don't know what it is. The organs are one of those low key instruments <clears throat> that's like. I feel like a low-key, jazzy, funky instrument. Like, there's something about, like, the organs. Let me see if I can, like, like, like a, like. This one doesn't have the sound that I want. Some of these do, though, but, like, this. Nah. Yeah. Like, something like this. Like, there's been some times I've made jazzy or funky tracks, and something about, like, an organ coming in, I don't know, it's like a low-key jazzy instrument that doesn't get enough credit compared to like a saxophone or the trumpet or, or I mean, if anything, I've heard like a jazz flute, I guess, you know, call back to uh, uh, Anchorman. I feel like even has more like street cred, so to speak, than an organ. An organ can like hit, right? Right, like that one. I don't like the, the click on that one. Like, that'd be a cool start to her song, like a jazzy song. Like. Very, like, church-like organ. Also, it's funny, I used to, like, a lot of video game references when I do free VST plugin reviews. Does anyone, like, this kind of sound? Rem uh, it reminds me of Super Mario 64. The final Bowser fight, it's like an organ, uh, uh, like sound or like melody that plays. And it's like super menacing. Like, I almost want to play it, but I don't know if this would get copyrighted. But that organ, I remember being like, it sounds super intense. Like, it's such a cool melody that that uh, last battle has. I will say, video game music, as a side note, super underrated. Like, if you're case, case curious, as a side note, and I do want to mention this. 
Most underrated musician of all time, is my opinion, Koji Kondo. He did, like, all the Nintendo classics from Zelda to Yoshi to Mario. Um, he's done, like, all of them. And, like, as you can imagine, if you click, look at a game like Ocarina of Time, my opinion, the best game of all time. I mean, the music theory behind that is actually very complex, right? But... Which one says I know? Like, this one's okay to me. That's a good one. Now getting into the piano section, some of these are more combinations and some of these are more like standalone. So this is the piano and strings. All right. It's almost like piano string and box. All right. This one says shine. Sounds maybe more of like a brighter style piano. Piano drama. Piano harpsichord. Sounds more just like a harpsichord to me, but like a low quality one. Right. That one I feel like would be really good for like a standalone because sometimes I have tried making a song with only piano. Like I haven't really done this yet on this video. You know, I know sometimes I do like to, blah, blah, blah. I do like to make a song. Um, you know, I'm actually gonna go to four here. I'm gonna put this in. But this sometimes I've tried making a song using only piano because that's actually the first instrument I really started with when it comes to music. And sometimes they don't. They just don't do well. Like the textures between a piano especially if you want to use it as a standalone instrument in an EDM song, it's kind of difficult. But I feel like this one has, like... No. Let me see if I want to have like a different. No. A little bit menacing, kind of like very minor feel. And then this is when it goes, I get to like, um. Something like this, right? On the fourth section to vary it. Right, that actually would work, I feel like. And then, just add like a kick behind him. Actually, I like that, it's kind of cool. Sometimes, you know what's funny on these videos? I do actually save some of these ideas in like a folder. I can show you how we do this. I always save it, I'll go here, I'll just go like, save life set as, and then um, this idea. So these are the, some of the ones that I've made when doing these free VST plugin reviews. I'm like, you know what, this could be something. I'll just go to like piano, techno, I don't know, I'll just call it that. Because uh, I'm going to go to Splice Packs, um, Main Stage Future Techno has some kind of, um, let's do like full, something might be a bit aggressive. You know, let me... See, these are more techno kicks, not big room kicks. I don't like the last part of that. Um... Like this, I probably want to put here. And then what is that? Intense. Um, we have intense, but I want to see this. This is actually, by the way, how I, in case you're sorry, like produce tracks. I'm going to do it. Was that an F? Um, another cool thing I do, sometimes like I said, I'm trying to figure out the kick. Key. I'm going to put it here. Oh, it looks like I'm getting lines of F and F minor. I want to see if I want to pitch that differently. Feel like a more of an F minor. Um, other cool technique, by the way, in case you're curious, I'm gonna use Pro Q2, it's probably easier. Um, pitch all the way up, make the Q wicked, wicked tight. I'm gonna look at the pan notes here.
Yeah, okay, so maybe F sharp then. Um, let me just drop this down to, because I'm in E right now. Um, I'm in this. Yeah, okay, let's drop this down too. And then I have this on complex. Oh. Brings out the low end, it bring, ducks down the low end a little bit. So like something like this. I don't like the Ableton limiter personally, but you know, for now, just like... it kind of works. The only thing it seems to look or sus back in the track. I think I'd almost want to um, do this. Okay. Yeah. See, it's wicked mid. Not mid as in like Gen Z, like oh, this is mid. Um, but like stir width wise, very mid. Yeah, a lot better that way. Now we have like... It might actually make it a little brighter. And then go into this. Right. So kind of cool. I'm gonna um, create another iteration of this, and then just uh, finish off all the presets. Why not, right? Um, boop, boop, okay. Uh, and we were on the honky play. Oh, and a couple more, I guess. So we have this. Like that alone, even though it's still that kind of honky donk piano, I think would not sound good on this track. Just making, right? And then lastly, piano classic, like. Like, that would not sound good. It's interesting, when it comes to pianos, like, I think the more depth I think a piano has determines if you can use it as a standalone. Like, for example, this, to me, if I did this, um, uh, I'll just delete this. I don't really need that anymore. All right. Right. It almost gets kind of drowned out, like it doesn't hold its weight, as opposed to this. Right. There it is, right? That's what we need. That's what we need. And then it goes into this. I still think actually maybe a big room kick would be better personally. But or throw on actually like a Moomaton. I wonder if that would sound better. Um even though this is gonna be like way too fast. Um, because it's 120, but it'd be interesting here. See that low end booming bass, I think actually sounds a little bit better. I'm sped up from 110 to 128. 